Inside this Washington University lab, graduate student Chi Shang Zhang demonstrates how he can transform salt water into drinking water. So this is like a simulated seawater, I would say. So it's with highly concentrated um, salt in it. Here's a simple um, solar simulator and it can generate uh, nearly one sun, like one unit of sunlight. We have a simple magnifying lens to concentrate the light. This water evaporation process would take days. But Using simulated sunlight and something new, the transformation takes place. If we put our magic bioform on, and you can see it within like several hours, it can evaporate the entire uh, water in the beaker. Zhang and members of this research team are getting attention from around the world after creating a biofoam to transform dirty or salty water to drinking water. Converting seawater to drinking water, like distilled water basically or you're talking about like dirty water. So if we have bacteria in the solution and we can use this process to, you know, extract only the water molecule from this source to make something we can drink. And this process can actually achieve that. The team combined bacteria produced nanocellulose with graphene oxide. Strong, light, conductive, graphene has the potential for industries with applications for electronics, medicine, and aviation. Graphene oxide is an oxidized form of graphene. This, combined with the bacterial nanocellulose, forms a bilayered biofoam. Then they discovered what this biofoam could achieve using the solar simulator. In a moment, you can see the steam are coming out. In just 25 seconds, it made steam. From that steam, another process would take place to make distilled water. We just need to create a surface that is transparent. And once the steam hit the surface, because it's a cold, it's a cold surface, the steam will actually condense and start to dream, like streaming down from the, this um, uh, surface. And on the other side, we can use some container to collect them. Just one more step and it's drinkable. This is just a, a small demonstration and it can easily be scaled up. A global game changer, all starting in the labs of Washington University. The full story behind the discovery and what's next for the production of this biofoam coming soon to Innovations. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.